Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Dr. Alicia's Dental Educational Hub. Uh, today I'm going to start up with another series of video which will be regarding how, what and you know when to prepare for individual subjects. So today I'm going to take up uh, important yet very typical subject that is microbiology and i'll be you know dividing this subject into like you know uh, three or four videos in which i'll be taking up every unit out of it and will tell you the important areas which needs to be covered out of this so uh today i'm gonna take up very important units the questions have uh you know they have come in the past so uh beginning up with our uh today's lecture uh, general microbiology now uh, the book which I am referring to it's a microbiology book MCQs in uh, microbiology and immunology by Apurba Shastri and this is an eighth edition and you can buy any of the edition okay so out of general microbiology the important uh, chapters which needs to be done are sterilization disinfection mark it down the culture media the various molecular methods of identification of bacteria, bacterial genetics and antimicrobial resistance and uh, some general microbiological you know inventions and some name of scientists Koch postulates. So uh, first of all the important topic out of this is a Koch postulates very much important Koch phenomena that needs to be done and then MCQ have uh, you know come in the past regarding you know exceptions to the Koch postulates so this entire thing is very much important and then over here there is a you know Im uh, interesting uh, thing or very uh, good thing about this book is that the important points they have been mentioned in a separate columns in a separate row so it becomes very easy to you know grasp things and to you know uh, learn these things so important discoveries mentioned over here you need to do that and after that uh, the important aspect is that is then comes you can have a look into this diagram and can see the various parts of the bright field microscope can give a general you know a review of this thing and uh, then coming on to the staining techniques very important technique the uh, staining techniques out of this the basic staining simple uh, simple staining the gram positive the gram negative and then comes the important negative staining is very much important then comes the impregnation methods in which we use the silver to determine the bacterial flagella and spirochetes this one is also very important and then as i have already told you the gram stain that should be on your tips the gram positive bacteria gram negative bacteria the entire process of the gram staining that should be on your tips and then comes the acid fast uh, stain the acid fast organisms which resist the decolorization to the various acids and this is because of the mycolic acids and you need to know the names of the various acid fast bacteria organisms as well and then comes the albert staining for example for the uh, to uh, you know for the bacteria like corine bacterium diphtheria differentiating from another bacteria so the entire staining technique topic is very much important okay now uh, here is an another table mentioned and that is an important points regarding the staining technique do have a look into this thing and then comes the difference between the prokaryotes and eukaryotes a very uh, you know basic and a simple thing just give a overview okay and then we have is the various gram positive uh, you know cocci which are arranged in chain clusters just have a look or just go through this thing then coming on to bacterial cell wall again a very important topic that need not to be missed the differentiation between the gram positive cell wall the gram negative cell wall and here are given some important diagrams the image based questions can come out of this so do have a good look into these diagrams then coming on to the parts of bacterial cell um or uh, out of this uh, the flagella is you know quite important the capsule is quite important so don't miss it out and do it 
and then comes the fimbriae pili and then atypical forms of bacteria questions they have come in the past like for example involution forms pleomorphic bacteria so very important topic and then over here it is mentioned a diagram fimbria the flagella you should know the difference between the various fimbria flagella pili okay so uh, then moving on to bacterial spores very much important topic the spores this cannot be missed out so do it by heart it should be on your tips and then comes the uh, generation time now here is an important table you can take a you know you can take a screenshot out of it even if you don't want to buy this book you can take screenshots while you know viewing this video and then comes the bacterial growth curve and it is mentioned in your uh, textbook as well a very important diagram then coming on to various you know uh, this table will simplify your bacterial growth curve so i uh, do have a look on to this thing and then the various factors just go through this and out of this micro aerophilic bacteria obligate anaerobes these are important okay so again important points mentioned regarding the bacterial growth curve so this needs to be done and then uh coming on to uh, you know the last important last few important topics for example infective dose of the organism this is quite important you should know about the low infective dose the large infective dose of the various important organisms okay and then comes uh you know the quite important definitions like endemic epidemic pandemic sporadic this should be on to your tips and uh, recently the corona virus is into the news you should be aware about uh, you you should all be aware about that uh, virus so do have a look on to that virus as well from the net and the various sources that might come into your upcoming examination and then a very 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 important topic which cannot be missed out is the difference between the bacterial endotoxins and exotoxins and this should be also on your very tips so kindly you know if you want to take a screenshot take a screenshot of this thing and then we have is this table and here the various you know differences they are mentioned over here between the endotoxins and the exotoxin and over here there is an another table which is referring about the exotoxins and their mechanism of action if you want you can take screenshot of this table as well so guys i have told you about the you know important areas very important areas and certain areas which cannot be missed out so kindly jot it down take screenshots and do it like you know right now while watching your video okay so this is a very important topic one or two questions will definitely come out of this thing so don't miss it out and if you can buy this book or you can do these topics from your you know notes or the textbooks which you have been following in your you know bds days so this was it guys this is the part 1 of the microbiology subject so soon i'll be coming up with the part 2 where i'll be taking up the bacteriology virology and other important topics like immunology so hope you have like my video guys if you have any problem any doubt you can mention in the comment section below i'll be happy to help you or you can mail us at our email id that will i'll be you know mentioning in the uh, comment section below so till next time take care and best of luck guys bye bye